Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be a summertime glam. I'm not too sure what I'm calling this, but it's kind of a summer inspired look, but I used, I think all affordable products. I think there may have been one or two where I don't have, you know, an affordable product. So yeah, almost everything that I use today is fairly affordable. A lot of it you can get at the drugstore or Ulta. I, we don't have Ulta in Canada, so that sucks. But yeah, I really like how this look turned out. It's got a neutral eye with a little pop of color underneath and a glossy lip and glowy-ish skin. I did use a matte foundation just because I am oily and I wanted to look glowy but not greasy, you know what I mean? Also, I wanted to quickly address the fact that I haven't been too active on YouTube. That's just because I've been moving. I moved June 10th and then a week after that, my dad came up because I was graduating, so he wanted to attend the ceremony. And then I went back home with him to visit my mom and everything's just been kind of crazy lately, so I really haven't had time to film. But hopefully I can get back on a schedule. I don't really have any plans right now, so I'm just kind of chilling. So I will definitely be creating more content for you guys. And while you're here, you may as well subscribe. And if you don't want to, that's just mean. I got that from Raw Beauty Christy. She's like my favorite, man. She is my favorite. Anyways, please subscribe and without further ado, let's get into this look. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. This is just like a little mini size. I wanted to test it out. I tried it out for the first time yesterday. Honestly, I'm not really, oh, sorry, itchy nose. Honestly, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Yet, I tried it for the first time yesterday and I didn't really have like a definite opinion yet. And I'm just gonna blend it in. I'm not gonna set it, interestingly enough. Usually I always set my eye primer with a translucent powder or a flesh toned eyeshadow or whatever, but uh, I've kind of been experimenting with not doing that. It is a technique to get used to, but I've kind of been playing with it every now and then. The only thing I did notice about this eye primer is there's really like hardly anything in the little tube. It's like not full at all, like not even close. So I don't really know what's up with that, but. Then dipping into my Zodiac palette, oop, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is the Taurus. And I'm gonna use it on a Morphe Y18 brush. I find with this technique, the best way to go about it is to go in with your darker shades first or whatever shade you're gonna go into the crease with usually if I do set my primer I'll go in with my transition shade first but I don't like to do that when I don't set my primer the reason being is because obviously it makes everything more pigmented and stick a lot more but when I don't set it I don't want the transition shade like in any look I don't want the transition shade to be crazy pigmented. The transition shade is just that. It's like to transition in between the crease and your highlight. And I just find that if I start with my transition shade, it just sticks a little too much and makes things a little too intense. I have no idea if that made sense, but. Then for my transition shade, I'm gonna go in with this mauve pink shade called the Libra. I don't know why I just held that palette so weird. That was really odd. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with the larger fluffy brush. This is a Morphe Y15. And I'm just gonna start on top of the crease shade and I'm just going to start slowly buffing it out. Then what I like to do is actually take a little bit of powder. You can use a translucent powder, a pressed powder, it doesn't really matter. I really like using my Kat Von D Locket powder for this. And I just like to take it on a little flat shadow brush and I just like to place it along the highlight and then I kind of bring it down just so everything is set and smooth so we can really work on buffing it out. I'm having a hard time talking today. I'm all out of sorts. I don't know what's going on. Is it Mercury Retrograde yet? I'm pretty sure it's not, but we'll use that as an excuse. And then I'm going to go back in with that shade, the Libra, and I'm just going to apply a little more since now the um, primer is set. And sometimes I like to go back in with that flat shadow brush and just kind of use it as a blending tool to really soften those edges. This is one of my favorite tricks. If ever I feel like something's too harsh, this is 
usually what I do. Then I'm just going to dip back into the Taurus on that same Morphe brush and I'm just going to apply a little more to the crease and I'm also going to apply some to the outer corner. And then with no additional product on my blending brush, I'm just going to go over that again just to make everything super duper seamless. So now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my Ordinary Coverage Foundation and I'm just going to pump a little bit onto the back of my hand and use a Stelazzi Mini Definer S206 brush and I'm just going to cut the crease a little bit just so the uh, shimmer shade that I want to put on the lid sticks a little better. There was literally a car sitting outside of my filming window for like 20 minutes and there was someone in the car and I have no idea what the hell they were doing so I was really scared to start filming because I don't know I'm talking to myself in front of a camera it's kind of like a strange thing to see they're gone now just FYI but it was kind of creepy I don't know it was like a black car with tinted windows but there was definitely someone in there I don't know it was weird and then I'm gonna go into this shimmer shade on the top here the cancer I'm just gonna take this on a little flat definer brush and I'm just going to go on top of the foundation we just put down you could use the same eye primer for this I find that when I used it yesterday it was just a bit too thick for my liking for um, cutting the crease but you could totally use that. Let me know if you've tried the Anastasia eye primer and what you think of it because I still haven't really made up my mind. It's pretty good I guess but I don't know if I'd like spend the money on it you know what I mean? And then I'm just going to take that shimmer shade and just kind of buff it onto the outer corner and then what I'm gonna do is grab the Morphe Y18 with a little more of the Taurus which is that brown shade and just kind of blend it in the outer corner again and then take it on top of the shimmer shade just to blend everything together. I'm also going to dip a little bit into the Virgo and I'm going to just apply that to the very outer corner just to add a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to take a small angled brush. This is a Sigma small angle E65, I think. The writing's rubbing off and I'm gonna dip into this dark shade here the black the Capricorn and I'm just gonna use this as like a smoky liner kind of deal so Kathleen actually launched this entire palette with single shades which is kind of why I wanted to use this because I don't know because it's kind of like a new launch but not really so if you have a particular shade from this palette but didn't really want to buy the whole thing just get a single shadow I think that was such a fun idea and then like people could like buy their sign like I don't know I just thought that would be fun like if I didn't get it in PR I definitely would have bought the Aries just because I'm an Aries I'm on the cusp of Pisces and Aries I don't know what that means I haven't really looked into being like the traits of a Pisces just because I have almost no Pisces in my chart. My sun sign is Aries, my moon sign is Sagittarius, so that's a double fire sign. And then my rising sign is a Libra. I haven't really looked in depth into what all that means, but if someone could tell me, that would be great. I have that astrology book that Kathleen recommended and I, I have read it, but like not in depth. Like there's so much information in that that I really can't recall everything. Anyways, then I'm gonna go in with a Stelazzi Precision Pencil S219 brush, and I'm gonna dip back into the Virgo. My mom's a Virgo, and one of my best friends, she's Virgo too. I should really like start reading my friend's signs. I know my best friend, I have like, three or four really close friends and so I don't really have like a huge circle and I just call all of them my best friends so if you hear my best friend it could be one of like four people one is an Aquarius one is a Libra so that's water no that air sign are those air signs I think so and then one is a Virgo and then my mom is also a Virgo she's like my best friend too right my dad's a Pisces and he's such a Pisces, like, oh wow. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I'm doing. I'm just kind of running this on top of that smoky liner just to really soften it and smudge it out. I think 
my other best friend is a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. I can't remember which. I'm gonna go with Sagittarius because I can't see her being a Scorpio, but I also can't see her being a Sagittarius because that's a fire sign, but she's definitely not really fiery. I would peg her more as an earth sign. So maybe she has some earth in her chart. I don't know. I don't know how to read people. Like, don't listen to me. I'm just like plapping. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, and I think that's it for the eyes right now. Now I kind of want to move on to the face. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna kind of keep this whole look pretty affordable. I'm not gonna use very much high-end products, if any. Sorry, my cat is just playing out there and I was like, what the hell is that? So for foundation, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I've been really enjoying this, but I can tell I got some sun on my face because this shade is now too light for me, but I don't have another shade. So, you know, we're just, we're just gonna roll with it. It's not like crazy light. I, when I say I get sun, like very minimal. Hey, but enough to see a couple freckles coming through. Cute! And I'm gonna blend this out with this beauty sponge that I um, recently got. I went to um, a business class held by Ready to Glow on Instagram. She was so lovely and I really enjoyed listening to what she had to say. It was just kind of all about the influencer business and stuff like that because everyone talks about, you know, the makeup side and does like make makeup master classes but i've never seen anyone do like a business one because that's the tricky part for me i have my degree in science but i don't know much about business i don't know much about marketing i don't know how much about selling myself so i wanted to learn more and i thought that was a good opportunity and i got this in the goodie bag that she had provided and it is the most similar feeling to a beauty blender that I think I've felt ever. It's quite a bit bigger though. I'll show you compared to a beauty blender, but this one's dry, so like keep that in mind. But like, it's significantly bigger. So this will grow when it gets damp, but this one is still bigger. I compared them yesterday. Anyways, the point is that that is the most similar feeling to a beauty blender that I've ever felt. It's really quite impressive. I really like it. And it's much more affordable. That's the whole point I'm getting at. Because who wants to pay $20 for a product that you have to throw away in a few months? You know what I mean? And the thing is, when their, when their product was super unique, then that could be justified. But their product has been duped so many times and no they're not the same as the original beauty blender however they're similar enough that i can justify buying the seven dollar one versus the twenty dollar one like if i am on a budget my beauty blender is the first to go because it's not completely necessary i'm so sorry if you can hear my cat playing out in the hallway but and then for concealer i'm gonna go in with my catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer really love this still i didn't even tell you who this sponge is by it's by a small company i think it's canadian owned it's beauty by bd lashes and it's a latex free sponge this is 14 dollars versus the beauty blender that's 20 and it also comes with a second one like a little guy for concealer i'm too lazy to go up and dampen that one but i like that it's there and yeah i just think it's a better deal and i really like supporting you know smaller companies especially ones that are canadian if their product is good i really i would rather support them than you know beauty blender especially because beauty blender hasn't always been the nicest to me spill the tea They've never been rude, but they kind of just dismiss me whenever I reach out. So I'm kind of like, well, screw you then. Also, can we talk about how many different colors of sponges Beauty Blender is going to launch before it's time to like, I don't know, cut it out? No one cares, man. Like it's, it's nice to have a couple colors, but like, I don't think we need a whole rainbow of Beauty Blenders. You know what I mean? Like no one cares that much. I'm probably just being salty right now, but whatever. And then for loose powder, I don't think that I have a drugstore loose powder. If anyone has recommendations, that would be greatly appreciated because I am in the market for some loose powder right now. I'm just gonna use my Kat Von D translucent powder. It's not my favorite in the world, but it'll do for today. 
Oh god, that went everywhere. I always do that. I always apply way too much powder. It's kind of one of my makeup flaws. I just, I think I was so oily skinned in high school that I just feel the need to like powder to the gods now that I'm, I don't know, in my 20s. Even though my skin's not as oily as it was in high school, it's still oily but not quite as much, but I still feel the need to powder like a mofo. Okay, so now that my concealer and foundation are on, I'm gonna go back to the eyes and I'm going to use, I don't know why I said that's so strange, um, the NYX Off Tropic Pro Liner. This is in the color Pool Boy. I really have been liking these Off Tropic liners. They're so beautifully pigmented and they last a really long time. They're just, they're good. They're only like six bucks each, I think. I don't know, something like that. And like, that's a good price. I think maybe $7. I don't know. I'm just gonna line the waterline with this shade. And then I'm going to dip into this shade here, the Pisces, that really bright blue. And I'm gonna use a Sigma Flat Definer E15. And I'm just going to place that on the lower lash line. I'm not sure if I'll have to dampen it because this shadow is a bit crumbly. I didn't have to wet that at all. Oh, but it's in my eye. Oh. This color is a bit more green than the liner I placed on the waterline. I don't really care. I didn't want it to be an exact match, but just an FYI. I love that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just apply some mascara. I'm going to do that off camera just because it takes me forever to do it. And I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have my mascara on, I'm not going to do falsies today because I actually want to wear this look out. Anyways, so I am going to go into the only drugstore bronzer I have, and that is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And this is not affordable. This is like 20 bucks. That is not drugstore pricing. I don't know what's going on with that, but like, girl. If anyone has some more affordable drugstore options, let me know. And I'm just gonna bronze the face with this. I know Wet n Wild has bronzers, but I'm trying not to use them because I guess they're not technically cruelty free anymore. So that really freaking sucks. And they also like lied to their customers. So I'm really not about that. So I'm trying not to use their products so much. I pretty much got rid of everything Wet n Wild that I own, which honestly wasn't that much. It was mostly eye products, but like still. And it sucks because I had just bought some new Wet n Wild stuff when that whole scandal happened so i got rid of it before even really using it which was very unfortunate maybe covergirl has a good bronzer that might be good you know that might not be twenty dollars twenty dollars and i think that's the sale price a lot of the times it's like 24. just gonna take some down my neck because my neck is always so white. Like even if I have a tan everywhere else, my neck is like crazy pale. And then for the exciting part, blush. So I did get the Kathleen Lights ColourPop blushes in the mail. I got them sent to me and this is what they look like. There's four, I just can't lift up all four at the same time. This is my Sun and Stars. This is so retrograde. Uh, I don't think I'll use either of these for this look. This is the shade Lunar Has It, and I'm really excited for this one, but again, I I don't think it goes with this look. Well, it could, but I feel like this one's better. This is I Need Space, and the reason I think this goes with the look the best is because it's a, not imitation, but the inspiration for this shade was the Libra that we used on our eyes, so I feel like it kind of ties in, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna use that on a Stelazzi Dome Fluff S506 brush. Oh, that's pretty. It has like a nice sheen. I don't know if you can see that, but all of her blush recommendations are not too intense, so that's something that I really like. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with another ColourPop product. I'm so sorry, but when I think affordable, I think ColourPop. This is in the shade Lunch Money. This is their Super Shock Cheek. The reason I'm using so much ColourPop is because drugstore brand pricing has gone up so freaking much that it's not even really affordable anymore. You know what I mean? Like I think this highlighter is like $6 and the butter highlights from Physicians Formula are like 12, so what's the better deal there? You know what I mean? Like, it's obvious. I wish ColourPop was more readily available in Canada, but if you place a larger order, and I feel like 
the shipping's justified and they have a lot of you know promotions and they have a lot of free shipping events so you can always order offline and I don't know I just feel like ColourPop is the epitome of affordable makeup that's still really good there's not a whole lot of ColourPop products that I don't like so it's not too intense but it's pretty maybe if I try it with a sponge could I build the intensity I don't I'm kind of scared to try that but Oh well, kind of gives a more smoother application I feel than my fingers did. That's so pretty. I really enjoy that. Okay, I was gonna go in with my Milani highlighter. This is the strobe light in the shade Afterglow, and I do really like this one, but I'm pretty sure it's more expensive than the ColourPop one. So I just thought I'd go with this. It's really pretty. I really like that. Let's see if I have any drugstore lips that aren't ColourPop. Ooh, I do have one and I really like this one too. Okay, cool. So for lips, again, I'm gonna wear this out. Actually, you know what? I am gonna use a lip liner. Okay, this is by ColourPop. This is the ColourPop Lip Beast Pencil in the shade BFF. This is like my favorite. I'm just gonna line the lips a little bit with this. Okay, now that the lips are lined, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lip Lingerie Gloss. It's the gloss, it's not the liquid lip. I don't like the liquid lips, but I really like the lingerie glosses. The lingerie liquid lips are just kind of sticky, like they don't really dry down all the way. But this gloss is really smooth. And this is the completed look. It's very summer appropriate. I really like how it turned out. I can't get over that highlight. I think it's so pretty. Also, my hair is wild today. I don't know what happened, but since we're going for summer, I'm just gonna go with the whole beachy vibe. I'm not gonna try and fix it because I don't think there is any fixing this hair today. I really like the bolder lower lash line. I feel like it adds color without it being too much. And I really like the glossy lip. Glossy lips are my favorite in the summer. They're actually my favorite year round lately. And I just think the blush was super glowy and summer appropriate too. Everything had a little bit of like shimmer in it like the butter bronzer did the blush did, and obviously the highlight. So yeah, um, this is my affordable summer look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please let me know if you like this video and if you wanna see more affordable products videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.